Greetings everybody and welcome to a very impromptu edition of the test table. I'm actually on vacation so I've actually got a little time to do one of these uh, fun videos. I know it's been a while since you've seen me and uh, seen us here on the test table but hopefully we have a little more time uh, coming up in the next few months to do a few more of these videos. But anyway we're going to jump right into it. Um, I just saw on Facebook uh, our friend Napua posted that she found salted caramel Pepsi and this really intrigued me as uh, being a Pepsi fan myself. I know they've come out with some really wacky flavors recently but um, I wanted to get my hands on this and give it a shot so we went to Long's and we found salted caramel Pepsi and holiday Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. So we're gonna just pop them open and see what we think. First up is the salted caramel Pepsi. It sounds pretty self-explanatory. Who doesn't love salted caramel? You know, Pepsi Cola, everybody loves it. Except for Coke people. It smells like caramel, so let's give it a shot. Wow, that's really interesting. The odd thing for me is that my first impression, the first thing that hits me, it actually tastes a little like licorice. Kind of has almost like a lihi mui flavor. I know that's really bizarre sounding considering it's supposed to be salted caramel. But once you kind of get over that initial, that initial blast of flavor, then you kind of get the caramel. Um, it's very sweet. What I don't get is I don't get the salt. And I'm not sure if you're meant to taste the salt or if the salt is supposed to just boost the sweetness as salt often does um, when adding it to any sweet component. No, I, I get a very strong licorice flavor, and which I find very bizarre. My taste buds might be wired differently than anybody, than everybody else. It's actually okay. I don't really drink regular sodas anymore. It has a little bit of an artificial kind of kick to it uh, right after you swallow and that you kind of get that, you know, after you swallow, you kind of get that little second taste. Um, so there's a bit, tastes a bit like Lihing Moi, which I find odd. Why don't you give it a try and, uh, you know, you kind of see how that, that is for you. On to Mountain Dew Holiday Brew. I see up here it says the ultimate holiday blend, Dew plus Code Red. So it's red, and the bottle cap is green, so is that the only holiday component to this drink? I don't know. When you say holiday blend, um, Kalena told me she, the first thing that came to mind was some kind of cinnamon uh, or, or, or eggnog type of flavor. And I hope that's not the case because that, I think that would be odd in a soda. I don't really get anything from spelling it. Let's see. I have not had much of Mountain Dew's products recently. I do get the initial taste of Mountain Dew when we when we first try it. Right after that is a little bit of some kind of a berry flavor, which I am guessing is probably Code Red. I don't know if I've ever had Code Red in a regular sense because I don't drink regular soda that much anymore. I do get the Mountain Dew flavor. I don't really get the holiday the holiday brew part of it, so it doesn't really fill me with feelings of Christmas trees and eggnog and family and cookies. But it's it's an okay soda if uh, as far as if you're a soda drinker and that's what you like. I do get Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is the first thing that comes through for me, and then it's that other berry flavor, which I'm guessing is Code Red. Again, what it has to do with the holidays, aside from the color and the color of the cap, I don't know. Overall, I think the two products are pretty good. They are not offensive to me in any way. Um, nothing I can find really wrong with them. I can't drink too much of it, obviously, because of the sugar. And uh, they're limited, a limited edition. It says here... Oh, I thought I saw it somewhere on here. It says new flavor. It is a limited edition holiday brew. So, if you want to try it for yourself, I found these at Long's. I'm sure you can find them anywhere soda is sold. Thanks again for watching, and I'm sorry we haven't really been pumping out these videos too much. I hope to rectify that in the future. Well, until the next time you drop by the test table, we'll see ya. Hey, what are you doing? New additions to the family. Two kitties. I'll show them to you next time.